Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Pioneer BH-175. This is a great family uh, camper. We have two bunks here. If you're looking for a starter camper or entry-level model, this is one you definitely want to take a look at. It's got an excellent price point on it and nice amenities. Let's start off right here in the kitchen. Speaking of amenities, look at this countertop space. That's something that a lot of RVs, especially in this size, are lacking, is a nice prep area, and you certainly have it right over here. Uh, you'll also notice you have an electrical outlet, so you have a spot to plug in a coffee maker, a toaster. If you want to put an electric griddle here, you can plug that in. And then right up top here, you have an LED light. You actually have LED lights throughout the camper, which are great because they don't put out near the heat and use a fraction of the power as your standard incandescence. Right over next to the, the countertop space there, you have a single basin sink with the high-rise faucet and a two-burner propane cooktop next to that. If we take a quick look up top here, I'll open this up for you. You can see the nice storage up there. So, you know, excellent space for pantry if you want to put food up there. Maybe if you have some extra glassware, uh, you know, your plates, bowls, things like that, you can stick that up there too. Microwave right next to that. And then right down below, you have your hood here with your light and fan. If we take a quick look at the bottom, We'll start right here, open up the old fridge-freezer combo. This one is a Dometic. Uh, you see it has a nice little drop-down freezer compartment right there. You can open this up, and if you'll take a look there, you'll see this one does run off both propane and electric, and also has automatic switchover. Now, no kitchen is complete without a couple of drawers, and you'll see right here you do have two drawers. That way you have one for your silverware. Bottom one, you know, if you need to throw uh, maybe some other utensils in there, you can probably fit some smaller knives or, uh, you know, some short tongs, things like that. But at least you do have the, uh, the double drawers there. And then coming over a little bit further, take a look at this. They put a shelf in here. So, you know, this is a great spot. Again, me personally, I'd probably put some of my pots and pans down below. Up here, you know, maybe again, some plates or if you want to stuff some of your bigger food items in there like chips, you can do that too. And then rounding out the kitchen space is this right over here. So you have a couple of options here. You can use this as pantry, which gives you a huge pantry. Um, I'd probably have to use it for the kids' clothes. It is straight across from the bunks, but you know whatever you want to fit in there, again, it's your camper. You can store stuff however you want. And then right down underneath that is your furnace. The cool thing about this, folks, is you never have to worry about the kids getting cold. It's a direct vent right into the kids there, so on the cold nights, they'll stay nice and toasty. Right in the back here is the bathroom. I'll take a step in for you. Foot flush lever toilet. When I sit down, you can see how much room I have between my legs and the door, so plenty of room there. I'm pretty wide in the shoulders, and I have plenty of room up top as well. Right on the wall here, you'll see your tank monitoring panel. Uh, that's something that you know you want to make sure you know where that's at so you can check your tanks regularly. Cool thing about this though, you see little switches on here. You have a water pump and the water heater, but note the water heater does run off both propane and electric. And folks, you can turn both of those on at the same time for faster recovery. If you look straight up top, again, we have an LED light as well as a vent. That way you can uh, quickly help dry the bathroom off. Right over here to this side, you can see the shower curtain. Notice how the rail is curved out, which is nice. That way it gives you a little more room when you're in there. You can see the hand wand right here, and it has a tub. Uh, I personally like having a tub, uh, you know, the, especially when you have a bunk model, because chances are the kids will be um, you know, a little bit smaller. Not always, but if you're taking smaller kids and they take baths normally, this makes it easier to be able to wash them up and not break that routine. And then also on the door right here, you'll see you have a robe hook, or you know, I'd probably hang my towel there, but uh, it's nice to give you that little extra space too. Right over to the side here, these are your two bunks. Again, as I mentioned, this is a double bunk unit. Teddy bear bunk series, they're nice and soft here. You'll see you have an LED light on both top and bottom. You also have a window on both the top and bottom. Uh, emergency exit there too. Now, if I need to plug anything in, you can see right over here, you have a dual electrical outlet. So that's kind of double purpose. You know, you can uh, have the, the kids from the bunks, you know, reach electronics over and plug it in there. Or if you're sitting here at the dinette, you can plug it in there too. But also, if we take a quick look at the dinette, right down below, there's another electrical outlet right down there. So that way, you know, it's kind of a more dedicated spot. If you need to plug in a laptop, tablet, things like that, maybe just sit here and do some work. Uh, you know, maybe you're a vlogger, who knows, but uh, it does give you that, uh, that nice, easy access to that outlet there. 
The dinette, of course, you know, the family has to have a spot to be able to sit down, have a meal together, play games, right? That's what camping's about on those rainy days, family bonding. So I like having a dinette to be able to do that. Cool thing about this dinette too, this table is removable. You can take this table out if you want. It folds up nice and easily, the legs do. So you can take it outside if you want a short table outside. You can also drop this down into a bed for additional sleeping space. Now mind you, you know, someone at six foot isn't gonna sleep there very comfortably, but if the kids wanna bring like a friend, cousin, something like that, that will create a nice bed space for them. Window here to let in a lot of natural light there. Take a look up top, you have a cubby hole. Right underneath that, you have your little uh, media receiver here. That's gonna be your stereo, controls your speakers both inside as well as outside. That unit is Bluetooth capable as well. And then right over next to that, you see you have some additional storage up top there. And again, whatever you wanna put in there, you know, whether it's food or um, you know some dishes, you have a couple options. Right up on the ceiling here is your AC, folks. 13.5K BTU AC. That's awesome. In an RV this size, you know, a lot of the units will have a side mount. This right here will make sure you stay nice and cool during those really hot months. Right over here, you will also see you have TV hookup. So if you do want a TV in the RV, you can certainly have one in here. You know, that can be nice on rainy days sometimes if you want to watch a movie before bed. You also have storage going across the top here in the front, which is great. You can see you have double doors. So some nice storage right up top there. Uh, windows on both sides of the queen bed. So that will allow some nice airflow. Again, emergency exit right over here. And then you'll see you have your electrical outlet over on the one side. So if you do need to, you know, plug in a cell phone or anything at night, you have an additional spot in which you can do it. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Pioneer BH-175. Starting off right up front here is your 20 pound propane tank feeding gas to your camper. Behind that you have rails here for your battery and then coming up the front you have the black diamond plating to help protect the front end from some of those rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. As we come around to the side you see the pass through storage here. It does have a covered hinge so that will protect the hinge a little bit. We don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. Clip this guy up in place, and if you take a look in there, you'll see that is a full pass-through. So that way, if you have longer items, you're able to access those from either end. Making our way back a little further, you see the power awning on here. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. Uh, this one does have an LED light on there as well. So that's really neat, folks. That way, when it's rolled out, you can just flip a switch, you have light. You don't have to get up there and hang up lights unless you, you, know, you have some really cool custom lights and you want to, but uh, that is a nice easy feature to have. You'll also see underneath that you have two outside speakers. Those are connected to that unit inside I had showed you, but that is Bluetooth capable. So that way if you want to sit out here underneath your awning, you can use your smartphone, tablet, you know, I, uh, iPad, whatever it may be, that connects uh, via Bluetooth and be able to control that from out here. You also see you have double electrical outlet. Need to plug anything in? That is the place to do it. You have two steps to get into the RV. That's nice. A lot of uh, manufacturers and units, especially in this size, would only have one foldable step. So having the second one there makes it nice and easy to get in. So if you have a bad knee, it's not difficult to climb into the BH-175. Four stabilizer jacks, one in each corner, just as you would expect. That way you can quickly and easily stabilize the unit. And you also have easy lube axles. That's great on the maintenance side, folks. Instead of having to constantly repack the bearings, there's a little cap right here. You just pop that cap off, there's a grease zert in there, and you can pump grease straight into it. Now granted, there are still some steps and some things you want to research as far as how to do that. You do want to lift it up off the ground so you can spin the tire. Uh, but regardless, it is still way easier and cheaper than constantly repacking the bearings. Right on the back here, you have a spare tire. This is mounted on the bumper. The big advantage of having a spare tire right here, folks, is it makes it super easy to get at. Hopefully, you never have to use it. But in the event that you do, it's an awesome peace of mind knowing it's riding right back here for you. So we come around to the off-door side real quick. Take a look at this. Surprise, we have more storage. Where a lot of floor plans just have that pass-through up front, you'll see you have this big storage area back here as well, which is awesome. You know, if there's items you don't want to mix in, uh, you know, with the other storages, or if you just want to put some wood back here, or a toolbox, or whatever it may be, that's a nice big storage area in which you can put those items. 
Speaking of not wanting to mix things, folks, by the way, this bumper is your square tubular bumper. You can pop these end caps off and store your sewer hose right in there. When you need it, nice and easy, pop that back off, take your sewer hose out. You can hook it up right here. This is your termination, and you will see both your gray and black tank valves are located right there. 30 amp power cord on here, cable inlet right here, and up front you will have both of your water connections for your city as well as your tank fill. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Pioneer BH175. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.